Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. Word. Watching the pandemonium, watching people going to stores and over shopping, acting crazy one towards another. I asked the Lord for a word. I listened to different things different people said. Some people are calling for fast. Some people are calling for unified prayer among Israel. I'm in full agreement. At the same time, the number one thing we need to remember is to just live by faith. To just live by faith. You got an atmosphere, at least from the media standpoint, it is feasting on fit. You got certain people trying to take advantage of the fear in the atmosphere, the fear, the worry, the misinformation, the omission of information, the too much information where there should just be a direct amount of information. But brothers and sisters, right now you got to remember who you belong to. You got to remember who you belong to. I'm watching everything shut down. I'm watching schools shut down. I'm watching the game shut down. As a matter of fact, they got the presidential debating. And they're debating this. All of a sudden, these politicians are admitting, yeah, the pharmaceutical companies, they didn't care about the people. They're just trying to get rich. But y'all the reason they got rich. But now all of a sudden, you're going to confess. Because that's going to help you get in office. I mean... Personally, once again, with the most I said, don't put your trust in man. Don't put your trust in man. You be careful. You be cautious. But panic. I mean, we went into the store. I wasn't really into hoarding or buying a whole bunch of food. But in a normal week, I normally do go get certain natural juices. It's just something I did before this ever came out. And certain foods, just weekly supplies. It looked like the store hadn't truly opened yet. It looked like uh, they were just setting up so that once they were ready for customers, they would open the doors. When I came in, one man, he kind of ran towards me where I ended up standing there and just looking at him like, okay, what you get ready to do? I had the cart in front of me, but I mean, he just ran directly at me and then veered to my left. And I'm thinking, okay, people getting kind of crazy. I don't know if he figured she coming in the store to get something I want or need or ain't picked over yet. I don't know. Um, all the vegetables, all the fruits were gone. Okay, you got some people, if you haven't eaten fruits and vegetables in eons, because you got people like that, and... Some people are crazy enough to think if I go gobble it down now, maybe it'll do me good. I'm never going to dissuade somebody from eating fruits and vegetables. But running in the store, clearing out all fruits and vegetables is crazy. It's just crazy. And toilet paper, I don't even want to get into toilet paper. I mean, wow. You know, it's fair mongering at its best. And they're literally on presidential debates right now, talking about it and making all kind of political promises and then discussing the fact there shouldn't be a revolution. You know, they're, they're concerned about a revolution. I'm like, really? All right. And I'm literally like, God, give me a word. Give me a word, God. Give me a word. Because if you listen to the mouth of man, it's madness. These people are not of you. Here's the head of the church in uh, Rome. No, I'm not a Catholic. Don't believe in it. But here's the guy that's the Pope. Who the people consider him one step below Jesus. Which we both know that's not true. But he gonna wave to the people from the window. I'm like, if you were all that. It wouldn't matter where you stood. If you were endowed with power from on high, anybody that get near you should be raised to health if they were sick. So you're not the man you profess to be, which we already knew that. 
But you go hide from the people. If you one step, but I know Peter. Just, just, just to throw it out there. See, Peter was supposed to have died in Rome. So since they supposedly have his body, somehow his body being in Rome when he passed away, somehow the spiritual aspect, because you can tell the physical man doesn't understand the spiritual man. But just, just to continue, they assume that the power from on high that was on Peter transferred to the so-called head of the Catholic. But see, the shadow of Peter passing by, the shadow was healing people because the power of God was on Peter. It wasn't Peter's power. It wasn't something Peter had on his own. It was a power from on high that came down from Peter. But here's a person, supposedly, now the power's on me, but you're going to run from the people when the people need you most? That's because you never were who you said you were. I'm just saying. But you got all this panic. You got this panic going on. It's going on all over the world. Or at least that's the way we being shown. That's the way it's being projected. I'm watching it. I know you guys are watching it too. A lot of places are shutting down. And no, I would not advise you just go out and about willy-nilly and be around people without thought. Caution is always good. It's always good to err on the side of caution, not panic, not fear. Caution. That makes sense to me. Caution. Okay? But I asked the Lord for a word because I wasn't going to be on here long. I'm just, I'm watching. I'm watching businesses going out of business, places shutting down. The airline industry, but see, a lot of these places, they were charging people on a scale that they knew those prices were padded, to say the least, okay? America's sitting back going, wow, you know, we, we don't know what to do to help the people because just like the presidential candidates just said, which I kind of ran across that. Pharmaceutical companies were in business to make money. It had nothing to do with helping people. It had to do with big business and money. Now here comes some big business called serious healthcare, and the pharmaceutical companies are like, huh? You, what? We need to do our job? Yeah. And it's getting real. Then the man start talking about a revolution. I'm like, mm hmm. Because everybody's starting to know what they already knew. That y'all wasn't about anything but yourselves. I'm talking to politicians. I asked God for a word. Somebody that is nothing but the truth. That tell you the truth. 100% truth. And when I asked God, give me a word, Lord. I know the thoughts that I have. But I need to know your thoughts that you want me to have. In the middle of this situation. Because I'm leaning on you, Lord. He told me, Psalm 121, Psalm 121, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help, you want help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Understand, from all evil. Whether this is a man-made virus, whether this is something that you're going to get an understanding for or not, it's evil. And the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Let's keep going. He shall preserve thy soul. 
The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. See, it's getting to the point. They're scaring people that do have to go out and about to do things. Some people are going out, they're shopping in a panic, they're acting in a panic fashion, they're treating other people suspect, or they or they just going at people, running on stone cold crazy. Like I said, I walked in the store, and it was an Asian man. I'm walking in. He over by an aisle. He turned around and looked at me and just come straight at me. I stopped. And I'm thinking, you know, I don't know what this man's about to do. I don't know if he's filled with panic, fear, or what it is. I just know I didn't have anything to do with it. And he's coming straight at me. Then he veers to the left because I stood my ground. You got a lot of people out here that believe the hype. Caution is a beautiful thing. You want to err on the side of caution. But you got to remember one thing. The Lord. Your help coming from the Lord. I help coming from the Lord. Yasharev, believers, I help coming from the Lord. See, you got a lot of people, they talk it. They talk it. It's easy to talk it when there ain't nothing wrong. It's easy to walk it when you ain't got to prove nothing. But remember, when we get refined, we got to go through the furnace. I think this is part of the furnace. I think this is part of the furnace, brothers and sisters. And I'm wishing, praying all of y'all peace, peace of mind, peace of spirit, peace of heart. The enemy is throwing everything he got, trying to preserve himself before his fall. They know they're going to fall. I'm listening. I, I, I was walking by and the TV's on. And all of a sudden, these politicians are talking about a revolution. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. How did we get to that? From the coronavirus to a revolution? Hmm. You think they know something we don't know? The people are tired. They're tired of this political madness. And that there's a possibility that the people are going to revolt. They're talking here in America. I'm like, y'all done started so much chaos. It's been so much rhetoric that they foreseeing a revolution. It tells you something. My thoughts were just on the coronavirus and all that they're saying and thinking, God, you know, we got to go through this tribulation and we're going to come out of this tribulation. I believe it's part of the tribulation. Some of the tribulation brothers and sisters, if not a lot of it, will be man-made, man-orchestrated, even though they may not intend it to be that way. They may think they can control it like a Frankenstein's monster let loose, okay? But God knows all things, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And I just want to give you a little bit of encouragement because when I asked God to give me a word that when I spoke, I could, I could tell them something that came straight from the Spirit of the Lord. And this is what he gave me. I'm going to say it again. Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Where's your help come from? It comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. See, you could try to call some of these places to get help if you think you sleep. They slipping, okay? They sleeping. They not answering the phone. But the, the God we serve is 24 and 7. No days off. He doesn't sleep or slumber. He's always available. Okay? Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. So you can call the Most High anytime. And he's there. Okay? The Lord is thy keeper. This is the word of God. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Even if we don't know all of what's going on, you can get the smell of evil. Something about it just makes you wonder. It 
just makes you wonder from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Let me say this again. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in even forevermore. I had to go to the store to pick up a few things. No, I wasn't going into no, any mad dash marketing. But I did notice the craziness in that man's face and how he just rushed towards me. And no, it wasn't fear that hit my heart. Fear was not the thought that came into me. I was thinking how I might have to respond if he got stupid. Um, and I would have responded accordingly because I know I didn't come in there to do any harm to anybody but I surely wasn't going to be harmed by somebody who lost their mind so it wasn't going to work out okay but just like his word says he preserved my going out and my coming in and he would do the same for you because some of the people walking around here they're losing their minds they're caught up in the hype you heard the statement before don't believe the hype you be cautious. You err on the side of caution. But remember, we look to the hills from whence come if I help. I help comes from the Lord. And he shall preserve our going out and our coming in. He will preserve us from all evil. All evil. He got very specific. Before I sign off, brothers and sisters, before I go, I want to read you Psalm 121, verse 4. Behold, he that keepeth Yasharel shall neither slumber nor sleep. God don't take time off. He's not a man that he grows tired. You got these people running willy-nilly trying to figure it out. God said he preserve us from all evil. You, you err on the side of caution. You be cautious. That's common sense. That's good sense. But your faith is in God. And you be at peace, brothers and sisters. You be at peace. Don't run around emptying out store shelves and acting crazy. I mean, the people become more of a threat to each other than the so-called disease does by how some of these people are acting. It's like they've lost their senses. I can see the crazed in the man's face. Literally, he's over at his shelf looking at something when I come in the door. I mean, he's at a distance. He just turned around and see me and just come towards me making a crazy beeline. I, I, I think it's a spirit of madness on some people. A spirit of madness. When the change comes, they're not ready for the change. But in order for us to be free from this our bondage, the change has to come. You be at peace. You stay in the word. You stay prayed up. You read the word. And remember, you trust in the Lord from whence come if I help. I help come from the Lord. And he doesn't slumber or sleep. And he will preserve us from all. That's a powerful statement. He didn't say some evil. He didn't say, I, get, I got this whole part over here covered. Now you got to work that part out on your own. No, he said all evil. I will preserve you from all evil. The totality of what evil is. He said he'll preserve us from. What you got to do is anchor your spirit, anchor your soul on his word, on what he said. Lord, I can't figure this out. But you already covered that, Lord, when you said Try not to, to trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not on thine own understanding. So I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. I'm going to trust in you. You said you're going to preserve me from all evil. Your ways are not like my ways. Your thoughts are not like my thoughts. As the earth, the heaven is above the earth, so are you above me. And I know if you said it, it's true. And I'm going to rest in it. I'm going to rest in it. You need to rest in it. Pray for God to increase your faith. It's okay if you get weak. It's okay if you get weak in your faith. But what's not okay is if you don't pray to God to ask him to help you. When Jesus ran into a man whose faith was weak, when his son needed help, the man said, forgive me, Lord, help me, help me. 
He want to help in his faith. Some of us, brothers and sisters, we need God to help us increase our faith. Help our faith walk. Pray that your faith is increased, that your faith is strengthened. That you don't lean on the words of flesh and blood. Because these people in these reports out here will have you running back and forth and don't know which way to go. And you'll stay under a level of constant fear and stress. I mean, you go outside and meet people that's just acting crazy. But remember, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. He preserves us from all evil. He keeps us up when we go out and when we come in, for now and forevermore. Brothers and sisters, you be at peace. Shalom.